Two. <clears throat> hey, party people! It's your boy Bear here, hanging out with Potato. Hey, hi, hello. Uh, and we are playing Child of Eden. I, I always, I always have to pause because I don't know if it's Child or Children of Eden. Sometimes. Child of Eden, I believe. Yeah. For any of our photosensitive viewers, if you didn't happen to catch that, uh, this game does have that photosensitivity warning. So just a quick heads up there. Definitely. Want y'all to enjoy, but also want y'all to be safe. Alright. Potatoes at the controls on this one? Yeah, I'll be afraid. Alright, so don't expect pro gameplay. I haven't played this game uh, in quite a few years. I think probably since its release in, what was it, 2012? Oh, huh. Now that didn't happen, so... Right. Sorry, guys, but your... Your future telling there didn't quite pan out. <laughs> God, could you imagine that being born in space? Right. Gosh. Like you're, instead of, you know, all the people who are like, yeah, my first, you know, big memory was stepping foot on another continent or another state. And it's like, for them, no, my first memory is setting foot on real, you know, earth, terra, firma. Real terra firma. Gosh. Imagine if your life was... What if life was just, like, in space and coming down to earth was the... The special thing. Right? Yeah, you got, you want to take a vacation? Do you want to go to Mars? No, we went there last week. Well, we could visit Earth. I mean, it's right around the corner. Yeah, but it's so pricey. It's like a preserved area now because the ancient humans, you know, they, they messed it up. So it's like a natural reserve for ancient <laughs> humans. <laughs> for ancient humans. It's like the Africa. It'd be like the Africa of space. Just mostly, per, like, res uh, uh, preserved land. Yeah. Uh, what are those called? Wildlife sanctuaries. Yeah. Human sanctuaries, heaven help us. Because I just naturally sleep across the lake. Why not? Are you okay, lady? Do you need help? <laughs> Do you know where you are? Do you know why there are globs of water floating? Do you know your name? We know your name. You should know your name. She's like, fuck it. I don't care about any of that. It's pretty. Fuck physics. <laughs> I, I mean, really, physics as we know them are exclusive to our planet. Very much true. Like when you think about, you know, what is the moon's gravitational pull? Like half that of Earth. So, you know, I could jump maybe two feet off the ground straight up. On the moon, that could be like six feet almost. Because it would You get the point. Yeah. She's like, what the fuck? Yeah. What was in that tablet? Right. Because realistically, if you're seeing that, you know. It's like the shrooms are kicking in! <laughs> Seems like this trip is going south very quickly. Yeah. Maybe watching Ringu before the shrooms was a bad idea. <laughs> Alright. You better save her. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Time. All right. All right, here we go. Trippy city. All <laughs> right. There we go. Yes. All right. So. Laser lock on, holding down A, alright. Nice. I'm 
sure there's a simpler way than just, you know, whipping this thing around, but. <laughs> Oh, that's so jarring. Right? Player life, yes. AKA, don't get hit. But yeah. Alright, uh, so first things first. <laughs> oh, gotta change the controls. Yep, I'm like, why am I struggling so much? Wait, please just have a normal invert option. Yeah, they had it there. Under control? Can yeah. I see it again? Look, look, move reticle, inverted, or type A and type D are inverts. Or I guess type C. Okay, and then this is lock on versus tracer. Yeah. So I'm guessing tracer is the lasers. I'm gonna find out. Alright, here we go. Yes. Oh yes, that'll be happy. If I remember correctly, each stage has like a final boss. Yeah, it's got a final boss like thing. Back shot. Alright. Let's see if we can keep this up. <laughs> I can do it. I can't do it. Euphoria. We need to activate Euphoria. Oh, okay. Actually, I want to ask you this, too, because I asked Wolf about this. Alright. Um, did you ever see the movie Ringu? I did not. No, I saw the ring, but not the original. Oh, okay. But you know that twisted, you know, jaw, or the twisted face, whatever, you know, right? That twisted right. state? All right. So, like, I kind of refer to that as being ringu like someone got ringued. Cause what else do you call it? Yeah. Would you call it ringu? Would you would like if someone explained like, oh man, I just you walked into a room and you saw someone like that. Yeah, no, I mean I'd say they you got they got ringued would be a good way to put it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they got ringued. Too much going on. Sorry, little tadpole thingies. <laughs> The subtle hint of the game says that you have learned everything we have to teach you. <laughs> so in theory, based on your performance, you're screwed, but you know, we tried. The same creator of this game also created Res, Electroplankton, um, what else? Go. Space Channel 5. Oh, you lost the special. Yeah, I saw him. Uh, Luminous, Meteos. He does a lot of music games. Damn. 
beat it anyway. Ooh, I don't know if they hit me or not, but oh crap. Oh, we're not done yet. You know, it's funny to think that this was a uh, Kinect game. <coughs> you know, I actually have this physically for the 360. Um, and I do have the Kinect. I miss Fruit Ninja. Oh, man, yes. I might, you know what? I think we will have to hook that up sometime. Get some Kinect action. Get some Kinect cardio. Get some Kinect cardio. Some Play some Fruit Ninja. Oh, crap. Oh. What the? No. Oh, yeah. You can't home shot those. Really? Oh, man. Ooh, oh, right. wow. That was a little close for comfort. Oh, bye. Oh, wow. Alright, I think this is the boss. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, it's back! No, come back! Wait! Damn it. D that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Alright, didn't get blown up. Nice, kid. Good. good start. But yeah, uh, back to our earlier conversation about Bethesda. Um, Alright. So, depending on whenever you're watching this, people, um, or aliens, who knows? Or, you know, overlords, oh, beings, gods, whoever. Anyway, earlier this week, the news had just dropped that Microsoft bought Best. And I was flabbergasted. I couldn't believe it. That was not what I expected to wake up to Monday morning. And... It's funny, I mostly buy their games on Xbox anyway, um, except for the Fallout series. The Fallout series, I actually really play that on PlayStation. Oh, man, this is going to fuck up my collection. Oh, yes it is. Oh, now, now, I'm, now I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even think about that. But you know what, you know, Microsoft generally, you know, they've been they've been a good handler of, of, of games that were previously multi-platform, or not even previously, but are multi-platform. Although the next Hellblade, you know, that's for certain not coming to other consoles. Switch with holding, you know. Microsoft and Nintendo get along really well. So, Switch version could be a possibility. Um, but yeah, it's a real possibility. No more Fallout. No more uh, um, Elder Scrolls on PlayStation, possibly. Sadness. I mean, going into this generation, you know, the ninth generation. I really, you know. Coming off the success of the PS4, I was pretty certain that Sony had was going to have a sizable lead throughout the entirety of this generation, you know. But with this, oh, that's right. Um, who knows? <clears throat> it changes everything, right? There we go. 
know. <laughs> the colors! Do Just start the matching colors. colors! Oh my god, yes. What's the dog's response? I'm colorblind. Yeah, I'm colorblind, kid! Kid, yeah. Four percent purified. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. All right. Thanks for joining us, people. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.